Well, it's been a while, EF Press, uh, since my last updates, which were a while back at the um, Woolwich Crown Court. A lot's happened currently in the UK. The good people have been abandoned to the virus with no testing available for the good people who think they might have contracted this uh, current pandemic. Uh, we've not had any assurances that they're providing thousands of ICU uh, to cope with the possible surge of cases. Um, and the best Parliament can do is pass acts introducing martial law and suspending your human rights. Well, this is not unexpected to our supporters of Julian Assange, who have been crying about his denial of human rights and suspension of international law and respect for the rule of law. And now we know what it's like as citizens to suffer a similar fate to those who warned us about these sort of actions. Um, martial law, suspension of habeas corpus and the freedom from arbitrary arrest unfortunately are issues which will now be part of the government's makeup today, Thursday, if they pass their emergency powers bill without even a vote. Uh, this is what totalitarianism is and EF Press will try and resist as the citizens must if the care and the needs of our vulnerable population, our elderly and those with pre-existing conditions will demand that our governments through the local authorities, hospitals and emergency services are able to cope with tens of thousands, if not more, of people in need of urgent medical assistance. This is the reality when you destroy the public health service, privatise it to the point where the workers are on zero hour contracts and the people who should be receiving the benefit of all our help in this time of crisis are treated no worse than minions, slaves told what to do without being given the facilities and the means to do it effectively, protecting our people from this current pandemic. I'll try and do some more EF press updates. Um, it's been a while. I've been ill. I've not had help. I've had a family crisis. So these things are making times very difficult for everybody everybody and we are not getting the support and we are not getting the love and compassion that a government should show to its people and help them and make sure they got enough food make sure they got access to good health care and make sure that they are tested to let people know whether they are suffering some pandemic or if it's what we would call a cold or a flu virus that isn't part of this current crisis. Anyway, thanks all the subscribers that left some really nice messages and uh, we'll get back to you. EF Press, on the heath, on the street and on the beat.